Have you ever wondered where Star-Lord calls home? Well, the universe is Star-Lord's home, but Chris Pratt has some roots to settle, and they're not in a spaceship. Let's take a look inside Chris Pratt's $15 million mansion. If you've been watching Instagram, Chris got himself into some trouble with a recent social media post about his wife, Catherine, and their daughter. All seems to be fine now, but he definitely woke up the rage of Anna Faris fans. But he probably doesn't mind since he lives in such a nice mansion. Let's take a look. Today, Chris has a net worth of about $80 million at the time this video was produced, so he definitely has the money to spend on something really nice. How did his career start? How did Chris come into so much wealth? Before he became a huge celebrity, he was waiting tables at the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company in Maui. When he was 19 years old, he was discovered by actress and director Ray Don Chong, and she cast him in her short horror film, Cursed Part 3. That opened doors to a few TV roles before landing the part of Andy in Parks and Recreation, we know now he's a leading man in movies like Jurassic World and Guardians of the Galaxy, which comes with nice paychecks. In 2018, he paid $15.6 million for property in the Pacific Palisades neighborhood in a small gated community called Marquez Knowles. There are only five other homes in the community, and rumor has it that Chris's neighbors are not celebrities, which is interesting. The sale was very much a secret project, and the property was never listed for sale to the public. The original house was Mediterranean style and was was built in 1995. It came with a grass backyard, and the house itself was about 8,000 square feet. After Chris bought the house, he had it completely gutted and under construction for the next two years. If something is taking two years to build, it has to be something really special. Chris and Catherine picked custom finishes for the house as it was being built. Chris, Catherine, and Lila finally moved into the house in January 2021. Even though Lila wasn't walking yet when she moved in, she's got plenty of space to roam around with her big brother Jack. The house is only two miles away from where Anna Ferris lives, sticking with the custody agreement of staying within five miles of each other. Let's talk about the house. The newly built house is over 10,000 square feet with incredible views of the Pacific Ocean and Catalina Island. The house has five bedrooms and six bathrooms. There's a modern infinity edge swimming pool with a pool house. The house also has a home gym so Chris can work out and prepare for his next movie role. The house has a wine cellar for wining and dining, and finally, a garage that can fit multiple cars. Chris has a pretty basic car collection, but he'll enjoy the spaces anyway. He has a 1965 Volkswagen Beetle, a Ford F-150 Raptor, a Toyota FJ Cruiser, a Tesla Model 3, a Volvo XC60, and a motorcycle, a Triumph Scrambler. I wonder if he bought it before or after he starred in Jurassic World. I told you it was basic. If he's not dropping money for fancy cars, it seems like he saved the money to put towards the house. Mission accomplished. So we know that Chris dropped about $15.6 million for the property, but that doesn't even count how much money he spent in building and renovating the house. It's a pretty insane amount of money to put down for a home, even for a celebrity. The new house itself likely cost a small fortune. Chris and Catherine aren't spending all of their time in Los Angeles. Chris also owns a rural farm on the San Juan Islands in Washington. He named the farm Stillwater Ranch. It's the polar opposite of busy city life. In 2018, Chris bought a longhorned cow from Texas and had it shipped to Washington. Catherine gifted Chris with two pigs for his birthday in 2019. He and Catherine are also raising sheep, and Chris even won an award at the annual Fiberpalooza. His female sheep, named Cacao, took home the blue ribbon for her fleece. It's such a conventional and simple life when you compare it to Chris's crazy Hollywood life. In total, Chris owns about 160 sheep, 30 pigs, and 60 chickens. So, he doesn't just have a cozy farmhouse with a few chickens. This is the real deal. Bill Gates and Oprah also have homes in this area of Washington, so he isn't too far from his famous roots. There's speculation that Catherine spent a lot of time at the farm when she was pregnant with Lila, since this was before the new house was built. Chris is known for making some pretty massive purchases too. For example, the engagement ring he bought for Catherine is worth between $150,000 to $250,000. By the way, did you know her mother, Maria Shriver, brought them together? Can we say mother and matchmaker? Many people have noticed how quickly Chris moved on from Anna, but he spoiled her too when they were together. Anna is a big fan of geodes, and he bought her a 30-pound geode that's worth about $1,900. Chris spoils himself too. He loves expensive smartwatches, and when he was on Jimmy Kimmel's show, he was spotted wearing two Cartier model watches. Cartier watches are some of the most expensive watches he's ever bought. For example, one watch was a Calibre de Cartier chronograph valued at $8,950, and the other was a Cartier de Calibre diver. 
Lager, valued at $7,900. But it doesn't look like Chris is stopping there with his purchases. In June 2021, Chris and Catherine were spotted touring an $8.5 million mansion in the Montecito neighborhood in Santa Barbara. Is he looking for a new house? Another house to gut? Or just a house to spend the weekend in? The house is about half the size of the mansion with about 5,000 square feet of space with four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and two powder rooms. It's in one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in Santa Barbara. The house was placed in escrow about a week later, so maybe Chris and Catherine were just window shopping. Thanks to Parks and Recreation, Chris became a household name and you would seldom find anyone who didn't know who he was. Like many actors before him, Chris continues to have a thriving career. What usually happens to comedic actors is that they stay in the genre and rarely branch out to other areas because the industry doesn't see them as serious actors. After being told he was too fat to get other roles, Chris started working out and lost about 30 pounds so he could get a role in the 2011 movie Moneyball, which was his first dramatic role. Given that Chris was inching towards 300 pounds, he knew he had to make a change if his career was going to survive. After he proved he was capable of becoming a leading man, thanks to his role in the Lego movie, an amazing opportunity came his way. Chris landed the role of Star-Lord in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. He got to toe the line between comedy and drama. Becoming an official member of the Marvel Cinematic Universe definitely helps your career a bit. With Guardians, Chris was able to bring in his comedy skills while showing the world that he's more than capable of being a dramatic actor. Then, just a year later, he was cast as the lead in the Jurassic World franchise. Chris's personal life matters here too. He met Anna Ferris in 2007, they got engaged in 2008, and married in 2009. They eloped on a whim. Anna is also a major celebrity. As mentioned before, they have a son named Jack who was born in 2012, but their love wasn't meant to be, and Chris and Anna split in 2017, with their divorce finalized in 2018. That same year, Chris started a relationship with Katherine Schwarzenegger. If that name sounds familiar, that's because she's the daughter of Arnold Schwarzenegger. They got married in 2019 and welcomed their first child, a daughter named Lila, in 2020. In case you're wondering, Anna adores Catherine, so it's an amicable co-parenting relationship. Anna even offered to officiate Chris and Catherine's wedding. With lots of acting work comes lots of money. Did you know that years ago, Chris made a video of himself reading a fake text from Steven Spielberg offering him a role in Jurassic Park 4? Was he predicting the future? If you had Chris Pratt's paycheck, what would you spend your money on? Would you put all that money down for a house? Let me know in the comments. That's all for now. Thanks for touring Chris's mansion with me. Be sure to check out our other awesome videos on The Richest. See you next time.